But we begin with that dangerous stunt one man pulled in a very busy roadway. Good evening, I'm Bill Bayesson. And I'm Sarah Donchi in for Lauren tonight. That viral video posted on social media shows a man driving a go-kart in traffic. It happened along Federal Road near I-10 in East Houston. Channel 2's Janelle Bluda is live. So, Janelle, everybody is talking about this video. That's right, it has got quite a lot of attention. Now, the woman who actually caught it all on camera says it was almost like her maternal instincts kicked in and she took it upon herself to follow that driver and make sure he got wherever he needed to go alive. Oh my God. He's driving fast and keeping pace, but this go-kart driver seems a little out of place. This is not street legal. There are so many safety hazards. Krista Floyd was in the car with her fiance driving down Federal approaching I-10 when she saw another driver not quite on her level. I got a little closer and I thought, oh my God, this is some kid from the neighborhood that doesn't know any better. But as she approached, she noticed Speed Racer definitely knew where he was and what he was doing. He didn't seem scared at all. I guess this is something he's done pretty regular. He wasn't scared, but she was throwing on her hazards and tailing him the next few miles. I was worried about, you know, that he would get crushed um, by 18 wheeler or a distracted driver or somebody that just didn't see him. Straight out of Mario Kart, that driver just missing his balloons shined bright in the headlights as he swerved in and out of traffic. He's wearing all the proper gear, but Floyd says he needs to find another track. There's no way they could have seen this little bitty go-kart. You know, there's no way. And this isn't the first strange sighting we've seen on Houston roadways. This naked driver decided to stop traffic with her dance moves. These kids illegally playing some basketball. And this guy found the roads more romantic, popping the question right in the middle of I-45. Well, Floyd says she almost called 911, but she ended up following that driver until he made it to an apartment complex. That's when she says she felt it was safe enough to leave him on his own. Reporting live, Janelle Blitta, KPRC, Channel 2 News.